From noon to three today, the trauma program at Hartford Hospital is going to be taking part in Trauma Awareness Day. They've done this for a, a few years now. And joining me now, I'm happy to have Dr. Alfred Croto uh, from Hartford Hospital that's uh, come over here to talk about some of the things people can learn. These are things that may help somebody save uh, somebody's life someday. So glad you're here with us today, doctor. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, you know, we're really excited to be holding this event at, at Hartford Hospital and, and build um, a better collaboration with the community. Yeah. Bring um, patients and patients' families and community members in and see what our trauma team does. Mm -hmm. um, and then also learn what they can do outside to help patients um, or family members or, you know, any victim um, yeah. do better uh, and get to us faster. Yeah, and part of that is the Stop the Bleed campaign. I know it, this is some of the things people are going to see being able to help sort of pack a wound and dress it. But you brought with us this. Yeah, so um, as part of Stop the Bleed campaign, which is a, a national campaign um, kind of designed to enable and empower people mm -hmm. to control bleeding, on site, uh, um, we uh, are teaching people how to pack wounds and yes. how to put how to how to put tourniquets on yeah. um, and and use them appropriately. And you know the the uh, po uh, public often is afraid of putting them on because they think that um, you know maybe they'll lose a limb. Yeah. Um, but actually, by applying the tourniquet, you can save a life. And yeah. so, um, if you can stop bleeding, you can save a life. Okay, and th that was one of my misconceptions too. I would have thought that's it's such a last resort. You might up having to lose a limb to save a life too. Uh, I also saw in, in, in some of the preparatory documents you're also uh, trying to get people to sign on for a universal motorcycle helmet law. Yeah. Tell us about that. So um, one of the things that we're, we're really kind of focusing on as trauma surgeons is not always in, in the operating room but yeah. injury prevention and uh, we talk about accidents but um, accidents are often uh, predictable yes. and preventable and so we're trying to build these community uh, bridges to really try to bring down accidental um, injuries, which is the number one killer of people ages 1 to 44 in the United States. Okay. So once again, it's happening from 12 to 3 today. I'm also going to try and get more tips after we're off the air, too, that I can bring you on the Fox 61 News at uh, 4 and 5 p.m. today and tomorrow, too, because there's a lot more to learn than what we have time for. So I'm glad you were able to take the time from what's obviously a very busy schedule, Dr. Croto. Thank you for, so much for being here with Thank us today. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, hopefully you never need to use one of these things, but it's just like CPR. It's something get, uh, you might have to learn and might have to use to save somebody's life someday. Uh, let's get over to the Weather Center. I want to get one last check on the forecast, guys. How do things look? Okay.